One other thing that's really important is uh, bat control. We're going to talk about the hands on the bat and some of the problems that young girls have. So we've already talked about our fo footwork. We've pivoted. We're ready with our lower body to bunt the ball. Now, what, what is our upper body going to do? Well, we've got to make sure that we cover the plate with our bat. One of the main problems I see with young bunters is we get a really bad angle on the bat head. Okay, you want to make sure that you get the bat head flat, fully covering the plate. One thing that we use as a tool here that's very effective is actually coming out more towards the first baseman as you're getting ready to bunt the ball and then cushioning so we get a nice soft bunt. We, we talk about soft hands. It's more of a catch than anything. So you're here, we're going to pivot. You have a little bit of a slight angle towards first baseman and then as you as you come to bunt the ball, we're going to cushion and we'll have a bunter that's going to demonstrate that for you later. You have to be really careful that we're not pulling back too far because a lot of times then you're going to bunt the ball foul. Watch your bunters. If you see them bunting and their bat head is like this, we have really no other place to go but foul or hard down the right, right side. And we want to be able to bunt the ball in all different locations, so that's really important. One other thing is I really believe that uh, it's nice to bring your hand up on the bat. You don't want your hands too close together because then you lose control of the bat head and you'll see some bunters do that. Having these them slightly apart, you're going to have a good grip by pinching the bat. You see no fingers are in this area so that when you make contact in the sweet spot or the barrel, you're going to have good control of the bat. Pinch and hold. Okay? So you see I have my thumb on top and then I have these fingers underneath so that I can have good control of the bat head. Okay, you got to be careful for this or this. A lot of people want to get too high up on the barrel. You want to make sure they're in the transition area. Okay? So if you have young girls and you're at practice and, and you want to put them in a circle, the first thing you, do, you can do to bunting is make sure they get their feet work correct, stand there and watch them do the footwork techniques, and then have all of them grab the bat and, and show you how they're going to pinch and be able to hold the bat and have control of the bat head by holding it this way. Okay?